Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Matteo Busanelli. I come from uh, Imola, uh, Italy. And uh, today, uh, what I, I'm going to show you is some uh, case uh, of, uh, in, uh, in which we apply uh, a semantic uh, enterprise knowledge management platform uh, that uses uh, uh, semantic media wiki as a core component. And uh, we will see some uh, uh, field of application uh, uh, that are uh, financial banking, insurance, and also uh, tourism uh, that are spe uh, specific and particular um, case, uh, uh, use case uh, that we I'm, I'm working on. Okay, um, I was born, I'm living in Imola. My, my company is Imola Informatica, so I'm, I'm really tangled with the city. <laughs> Uh, I was for three years uh, as a researcher in the in, uh, Italian National uh, Research Agency uh, on semantic web. So I'm really addicted to the semantic web, not cargo. <laughs> and uh, I'm a sustainer of uh, the, the semantic technologies. Um, and since uh, 2008, uh, at present, I'm working uh, as a an IT strategy consultant and uh, advisor on enterprise uh, knowledge management uh, for my company. And this is the circuit of Imola, obviously. <laughs> I'm working on just in the last month uh, on uh, IT service management, IT governance and cost allocation uh, for a big international uh, insurance group. Uh, on enterprise architecture, uh, I don't know if you, if you know about enterprise architecture, but in the next uh, slide we, we, we see uh, and explain something about enterprise architecture for the municipality of uh, Milan. GDPR modeling uh, um, to provide a record of processing activities that is required for compliance with the GDPR and a technical advisor for the, um, as a technical advisor for the a smart city hub um, for tourism and um, uh, just we, we see at the end of the, of the presentation about this uh, kind of application. A little bit about, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, can I have uh, the, the time because I, <laughs> Um, a, little about, a little bit about uh, theory and methodology. Uh, we start from a key point uh, uh, that's really important for us, that is uh, knowledge is the, the center of, of all, data is the center of all, not tools. Because my company is not a product company, it's a consultancy. And uh, we believe that uh, knowledge is really the most important and valuable uh, asset for enterprises, second only to the, the persons. So knowledge should be, uh, for us, first of all, formalized in an independent uh, manner from, and independently from the tools we, we're going to use. So we don't want to have lock-in on tool. Uh, should be interconnected, thinking about linked data, but not on, on, the, uh, on the internet, uh, just inside the enterprise. Uh, should be provided as a central enterprise service. Uh, each company, each uh, enterprise uh, should have uh, uh, a hub of knowledge. Repeat, not an, uh, a tool, but uh, really uh, a service. Um, from which can take all information for every kind of problems and uh, activities and uh, freely uh, merge this information uh, uh, accordingly with, with the, the problem uh, he must uh, solve. Um, knowledge must be easy to produce and uh, to be classified possibly in a automatic manner. 
easy to integrate with other external sources. Um, I'm thinking about uh, Wikidata. Uh, but this is, a, first of all, a, a problem of uh, uh, corporate culture. So if uh, we can um, uh, touch this point and uh, uh, make the, the, the clients understand that uh, uh, knowledge is really important, uh, next step in the activities uh, uh, could could fail in 90-90% because always uh, the, my, our clients uh, think about, uh, okay, I have a problem, I need a tool. No, uh, you have a problem and you can solve uh, with the knowledge that you have. Uh, and uh, next you have to choose a tool. In the last 10 years, uh, we have designed and created plat a platform to give uh, our clients a practical and operative response to their needs. And the platform is a set of components organized in a layered architecture. Uh, it's strongly based on the semantic web standards, OWL, RDF, SparkQL, and so on is designed to implement model-driven solution of knowledge management because we start from the model, for, from modeling, and we will see in the next slide uh, all our activities, all our um, uh, projects start from, okay, I need to design ontology or better, I need to reuse some ontology to build uh, 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 an ontology to, to, to um, describe uh, your, your domain and then uh, from this ontology uh, create the solution. And Semantic Media Wiki is really perfect for this kind of... Uh, uh, and uh, potentially the, the platform uh, must be suitable for application on any possible domains. Yesterday we saw this uh, for uh, different uh, uh, domains uh, and our domains are IT governance, uh, documental management, uh, normative competency, tourism and so on. This is the, the architecture. I don't want to bother you about every single component but it's just the best way I think to understand that is not Semantic Media Wiki the solution. Semantic Media Wiki it's a, a core component mainly from, for the presentation layer, but we have an underlying layer of uh, semantic middleware, obviously with the track store, Sparkle and Point, Reasoner, and uh, um, SAMI that is uh, a component that we build and we will see uh, that uh, let us starting our RDF and build the content inside the Semantic Media Wiki. Also, we have uh, a semantic integration layer uh, with the semantic connector, thinking about um, ATL um, for uh, taking information from sources, mapping using uh, OpenRefine. I don't know if you, if you know OpenRefine and was uh, Google refined at the start, and uh, using a, a mapping file to uh, create a connection and uh, pull data into the Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, just to see uh, how it works, uh, start the ontologist, uh, mainly me, <laughs> uh, start build the ontology, but. We have a, a library of ontology ready to, to, to be used. So we have only to uh, create a customization starting from basic ontology. And uh, we build uh, an OWL ontology that uh, uh, through the uh, semantic uh, MediaWiki importer uh, fill the semantic MediaWiki with categories, properties, templates, forms, and semantic imports uh, pages for vocabulary. And again, 
starting from sources, uh, DB, uh, services, uh, Excel, and so on, we uh, can create a mapping towards the, the ontology, have something externalized mapping, attach these to a connector, and start to grab all information uh, inside and take the information inside the semantic media wiki in the forms of uh, application of this template uh, automatically created. But we will see in deeper. So we can uh, have uh, the knowledge uh, and in form of a dashboard, a graph, uh, and uh, always uh, navigation, search, but most importantly is uh, to have uh, the free knowledge in a triple store separated. And Semantic Media Wiki let us to do this, uh, to give knowledge as a service uh, to other, to other uh, tools uh, to, or uh, for uh, any usage uh, different from uh, our. Okay, the um, semantic importer uh, we call CMI um, do exactly these things. Start from uh, an OWL file, read the OWL file, or ORDF, uh, build a semantic import page, um, build a, a, a category uh, for each class or class uh, in, the, in the ontology, uh, build all the uh, template and forms, and template and forms are related to the properties of the model. Um, and finally, uh, if we have uh, instances, uh, can create a page with, um, with the, the application of the template uh, coming from the, the, the model. So, in this case, we have the, the category, the class uh, city with the track, and uh, we have the category, template, and form. We have two uh, properties, and uh, at the end, uh, we have uh, uh, an instance that is Imola, uh, is a city with a track, uh, with a population and uh, the province uh, Bologna. So at the end, we have this kind of uh, page where we can uh, refer to the template and populate all the uh, fields. Uh, semantic connector. Uh, uh, just said before, is a, a sort of a semantic ATL uh, that uh, uh, take uh, um, information uh, from a sources that may be different ones and map uh, all the uh, information uh, in a semantic manner um, to, to a model. And then uh, we have a feeder that uh, can uh, uh, write uh, all this information in the, in the target. And semantic media wiki could be one target, but we can uh, use another uh, feeder. Um, this is an extension that we build, and I think uh, it's, a, uh, it's a good. Uh, mm, uh, uh, in the next time, I, I try to, to publish this, uh, this extension because it's. Uh, uh, the same of uh, semantic result format, but uh, uh, really uh, specialized for Sparkle. So uh, we configure um, an endpoint in the local setting, and then in the pages we can make a Sparkle query on this endpoint uh, and produce uh, diagrams like this, uh, dynamic di diagrams, so uh, pie chart, donut, uh, bubble chart, uh, tree map, uh, draft, uh, uh, and so on. Why we need we needed uh, to have something like that that some some diagram like this could be produced also from uh, ASK and uh, and uh, semantic result format. But Sparkle is more powerful for us 
because we can integrate many information in a powerful way and uh, we can build easily uh, um, complicate the diagram. Uh, just the, the graph uh, is one of the most um, complicated to, to build uh, and navigate. Case one, banking. Uh, a big North Italian bank asked for help uh, after an ECB uh, audit uh, that uh, uh, asked to the, the bank to, to produce uh, uh, an annual report about the state of the art of the IT. IT is really important uh, for a bank. Uh, and uh, it's uh, really complicated. So uh, when uh, the ECB uh, asked to the bank, okay, give me, show me your IT, the bank say, oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> and. Uh, we uh, have a solution for this that deal with knowledge management. Starting from the ontology, uh, we take different uh, based ontology about, about applications, about the domain of infrastructures, I, I mean in IT infrastructure, uh, architectural diagrams, uh, uh, organizational ownerships. Starting from this ontology, we could produce uh, uh, the forms, template, and uh, whichever uh, in the Semantic Media Wiki. And from this uh, form, each owner of application could edit and put the information on his application, on his infrastructure. Uh, so in a collaborative way, uh, each one could fill this information. And, and from uh, this data, we can generate PDF uh, document uh, about all the IT. Um, case two, uh, bank for banking and insurance too, is uh, enterprise architecture. Enterprise architecture is uh, a practice that translates the vision and the strategy in real changes for the, the company. And uh, it's particular suitable for big company uh, where uh, um, doing things uh, is really um, difficult uh, because uh, when something is touched, they don't need, they don't know what really will be will happen. So enterprise architecture uh, deals with business, but also with uh, organizations technological, data, and legislative uh, areas. And all the above uh, relationship between this domain. Uh, in strongly IT dependent organization, just like bank and uh, insurance, uh, um, IT, governance, uh, IT governance is a fundamental discipline for, support, for supporting enterprise architecture uh, dynamics. So, again, uh, needs in enterprise architecture, uh, we express uh, these uh, in forms of uh, what, uh, uh, what the enterprise architecture uh, sh should answer to these questions. Um, what is the impact of evolving a financial service in terms of processes, application, IT infrastructures, organization, and costs? Or another question could be, what happens if uh, IT decides to dismiss a specific software? OK, today, this version of Oracle should be over. And, uh, but what happens? Uh, in terms of impact on for business services, because when I shut down uh, or change uh, a software in the infrastructure, like a DB or something like that, there is a, a, a chain uh, of dependencies that uh, start from uh, application that use this infrastructure, but also processes uh, that use uh, application and services related to this process. So, um, 
we have to, to, to give uh, uh, an answer to, to this question. What if uh, we need uh, to dismiss a specific supplier uh, in terms of technology lock-in? Or uh, what if uh, we close a specific organizational unit for optimizing some processes in terms of losing of information competition center hub? And finally, uh, classic is uh, how can we increase performances of services uh, to clients in terms of KPI and best fitting this law? This law. Again, the solution start from uh, modeling. Uh, this is one of the more compli complicated model because take uh, five uh, different uh, basis model and uh, create relationship between business, IT, data, legislative, and uh, uh, other model that could be security, GDPR. And uh, we have to identify the data sources in the enterprise, so uh, where can find information uh, for these domains. And uh, once we have the sources, we can build, we can map the information using connectors and uh, build automatically the content of the semantic media wiki in terms of categories, properties, template, forms, and so on. Um, okay. At this point, we can have uh, data navigation, but also we can have uh, uh, the forms. Uh, um, we can have, uh, um, sorry, uh, drill down, but also the, the drafts. So uh, through a graph, we can say, uh, what if I shut down this server in terms of uh, what processes could be impacted? Uh, dashboarding and uh, finally reporting. Case three, um, we are talking about uh, budget and uh, IT cost management. So when, uh, when we are in a context of a consortium, uh, both for banking and insurance, it's really important to justify the, the price of each service uh, to each company of the group. And the IT service cost should be a sum of uh, cost subservice, uh, cost applic of applications, cost of IT infrastructure, and other. And uh, we have to define a distribution driver uh, of the, uh, the expenses. Um, the problem is that economic information doesn't speak the same language uh, of the IT landscape. So, uh, cost items doesn't refer really actually with the IT assets. And once again, it's, uh, it's a matter of uh, uh, knowledge management to retrieve, reconciliate, and connect all kind of information. We build the ontology uh, and uh, we identify sources, um, economic report, uh, uh, concerning budget, uh, cost category, annual amount ordered per categories. And so we can uh, produce uh, diagrams and uh, dashboard. Because at the end, uh, what really interests the, uh, the client is not uh, a specific data, but have uh, an overview about uh, the, the economic uh, uh, state. And um, for example, a CIO uh, want to know, uh, OK, how much cost this service and uh, why? And uh, who is buying this service uh, uh, of uh, our um, consortium? So we can have, uh, obviously, all the uh, distribution, uh, in the for services and the categories of budget. All these um, diagrams uh, 
will be produced from uh, uh, Spark uh, queries. GDPR, you know uh, what GDPR is, and so um, this regulation uh, asks each enterprise to keep safe all personal information of the um, personal information uh, of person uh, who deal with the in, uh, in internal or external. And GDPR defines a specific uh, record of processing activities that must contain information on what that uh, data are processed for, uh, what purposes, and uh, who is responsible of this data. Just the same. Um, we build a specific GDPR ontology uh, using uh, also some security ontology and, uh, and uh, IT ontology for the, the, the archiving of, uh, of data. And uh, um, we identify and import all data um, about um, that could be important for GDPR compliance. And um, in this case, uh, there are very little uh, digitalized information. So, uh, the main activity is a manual activity to use the, the forms uh, to compile uh, una tantum once uh, all this uh, information. Uh, at the end, we produced uh, a catalog of processing uh, uh, of information, um, private information and data and also um, a, a maturity model because of uh, the GDPR defined some uh, ma many dimension about uh, compliance. And so starting from this uh, data, we could uh, say uh, how much you are compliant to the GDPR. And um, really important is uh, to produce paper. So uh, at the end, uh, uh, we have to produce a module to be signed where we, we can say, OK, you are responsible for this kind of data, or uh, even a report. Uh, case 5 is about uh, my city and uh, the, the portal we have uh, launched in uh, in uh, 2017, that was uh, Imola in Rete, and, uh, which aggregate information about uh, places, services, events, and uh, merchants uh, or association of, um, of the city. And the uh, merchants, uh, it's, all, it's uh, free. It's uh, completely free for merchants and citizens. OK. Um, so um, a merchants can create a freely maintained repair uh, um, their pages, uh, organize events, uh, uh, and put offers or coupon like coupon on the pages. Uh, user can uh, retrieve, uh, find uh, all the information about places, shop, uh, uh, etc., and uh, bookmark uh, uh, the the merchants or the shops uh, to receive uh, information directly from the the merchants. And uh, also, a uh, user can search along a path, uh, like home or work, and uh, have uh, information about uh, what is in the, in the path, uh, um, dependently on his, uh, his preferences. And the OK, from this uh, um, project, uh, start another big project that is uh, by Borghi and that uh, uh, is, uh, involves the association of Italian villages and, Italian, and an Italian bank uh, for um, uh, connect uh, local merchants uh, uh, about these, Borghis, these villages, uh, give uh, the tourist offers, uh, and uh, also keep in touch uh, uh, all the shops uh, after the, the, the trip uh, of the tourist is and then he come back to home. Finally, and just I'm um, closing, we have our wiki. <laughs> because of we are a consultancy for, for us is uh, 
uh, really important to have a central hub of knowledge uh, to know how to solve problem in which client uh, we have solved some problem, uh, the skill of person, and, uh, um, um, and so on. So first of all, we build our, 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 um, our own uh, wiki. Just uh, some uh, R2 sensors should be the upload uh, uh, of our ontology native in the, in the semantic media wiki, not using our uh, tools, because uh, um, every time change the version of uh, API, uh, we need to uh, change and refactor the, the tool. Um, and so this is really appreciated uh, uh, as, a, as a, a functionality. And um, the problem of page update uh, that delayed all tripods with uh, um, the same subject and rewrite. So we can't really use uh, and merge information inside the tripod store, uh, coming f information coming from other sources uh, with uh, the ones from Semantic Media Wiki because when we uh, update a page, all the tripods also uh, the external one uh, may be uh, deleted, and uh, this is a problem for us. Per page permission. <laughs> we also discussed uh, enough uh, about this. I'm sorry for uh, overcome the, the timing. Thank you. Uh, if you have any question. Uh, I'm very curious about that Sparkle visualization tool you have, uh, the Sparkle uh, query results uh, formatting thing. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? What? Dashboard. 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 Yes. It's yeah. <clears throat> Is that a MediaWiki extension or an outside tool? It's, uh, it's mm. formally um, become from uh, the, the queries, the Sparkle um, query and uh, uh, it's uh, it's all integrated in the in the extension. It's a it's a MediaWiki extension. It's a. Is it, a, a, it does it run in MediaWiki or is it an out, outside of MediaWiki? No, no, it's in MediaWiki. Yeah. Yes. But in theory, it could just be an outside tool because I, well, I don't know that much about querying, uh, uh, Sparkle querying, to be honest. But uh, but. Uh, Potentially, they, well, I don't know if they're out, uh, just third-party tools for doing Sparkle querying and then formatting the results in some way. The, whether there it's are, there other are many, many tools that oh, okay. do something like that, but uh, the problem <coughs> is to really integrate inside the, the, the MediaWiki pages. Yeah. And uh, we use some libraries, JS library, to uh, like D, uh, D3, uh, for uh, having uh, the the graph uh, and yeah. also, but uh, we have to deal with the um, the query from the page of the wiki. Sure. Yeah. Is is, is that a is that a released yeah. extension? Have you released it? Yes. The the Sparkle extension. Yeah. What's it called again? A Sparkle result format. Okay. Great. And Thank you. I think. Uh, I uh, I put in uh, publish this this uh, the extension. You haven't published it yet, though? No. Okay. We're waiting eagerly. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>